Hey everybody, how's it going? Worst effing gamer here, and uh, as we expected, guys, a brand new hero just dropped today in the Conjuring Stone Mechana. The latest and greatest hero has been dropped, so I'm gonna take you guys on an adventure now. We're going to go ahead and summon him, test him out, bring him to Orange Plus 2, upgrade him all the way, and see if this guy is a good hero to spend your money on or not, depending on what his skills are all about. Alright, guys, so if you're excited about a brand new hero joining the roster, uh, you know, expanding our collection, then drop a like, guys, because this is gonna be sick. I can't wait to get this guy, so without any further ado, let's get this started. Alright guys, so here we are, as I said, he is in the Conjuring Stone, and the first one is a free pull, oh my god, if I get a free pull, this would be insanely good, because I'm running low on gems, I really don't want to spend crazy amount of gems to get them, I'm hoping I get lucky with this going, guys, so let's go ahead, free one, dear god, one time in your whole life, damn, of course not, did you actually think that was gonna happen, hell no, it wasn't gonna happen, my luck stinks, but, I'm gonna open a 10-1 right now, guys. Let's open a 10, and we have to get him here. Or we cannot open no more 10. Please! Yes! Oh! Thank God! Woo! So, what? This is completely different than what I expected this guy to look like. Holy shit. I thought he was gonna be some robotic bug or something like that. That's what it seemed like in the picture, but he's completely different. He's a robot monk. Ha <laughs> ha! With six arms. That is crazy. Wow. I love this card. He looks incredible. Woo. I'm so excited to get this dude. Check it out. Oh my god. Is it my eyes blurring? Am I drunk? Or is this dude just blurry as hell? He doesn't stay still, guys. He is constantly on the move. Holy shit. That's fucking sick. <laughs> Mechano, welcome to the squad, homeboy. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's just see. What we're gonna do with this hero? Wow, I am super excited. Not about Mariel or Alistair. Those guys are already 7 star, but Mechana. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's begin the spotlight right now. Alright, so here we go, guys. Uh, let's go ahead, first of all, get him to level 100 real quick. Boom! Level 100, that's the best way and easiest way to do that. And now we're gonna begin the fusion process. Let's go ahead, fuse him all the way. I have all the equipment. I'm pretty sure I'm not really worried about any of that. Now, I don't know anything about this guy just yet, like everybody else. We don't know anything about him. So, I'll have to find out if he's magic, if he's uh, physical, if he's uh, support, if he's a tank, if he's a backliner, if he's a midliner. Boy, so many questions that are unanswered that we will answer by the end of this video, alright? But, looks-wise, I love it. This dude is floating in the air, another floating hero. Don't think that he is flying. Right? Well, I'm pretty sure that he's not flying, but he is levitating. And okay. So that purple plus four. Woo! Man, getting a brand new hero, guys. This is exciting. It has come to this point where getting a new hero is so exciting to me right now. Bra! And the last one here. Orange plus two. There we have it, guys. Maxed out Machina here. Let's give him all these. Uh, items as well. Boom. Oh, I got a crap one of these. Okay, and bam! There you have it, boys. All equipment items are equipped. Now, first things first, let's go to hero stats. Let's find out exactly what type of hero he is. So, if you haven't noticed already, check this out. He's all got a sorceress medallion. Now, strangely enough, this... This, use, this is all females. Hmm. Not sure, so obviously he's a female, right? Machina, female? Alright, but let's see. Midline support, Machina effectively protects his teammates. His! So they're saying that he's a male. And he's a monk. Monks are male, right? But this is weird. But it's, since he's a machine, I guess he's genderless. Uh, this kind of makes sense. It protects all his teammates and is able to cast off negative effect imposed by enemy abilities. That is weird. Wow, okay, sounds like a really sick support hero. Now, let's go ahead, guys, break down these abilities and also an awakening because he's a conjuring stone hero. My god, this is sick! All right, so first ability is his ultimate, and this is long as hell. Oh my god, let's try to figure this out right here. 
Mekina changes the fate of his teammates with the highest DPS. All right, removing any negative ability effects currently affecting them and making them temporarily immune to control abilities. Whoa, that is sick right there, guys. They will take 50% reduced damage and have health recovery affected boosted by 100% except for health naturally recovered over time. Control abilities will now boost their speed and stat debuffs now give them a boost to their physical and magic attack. Mechina will expand energy more quickly and lose health while this ultimate is in use. Mechina cannot use this ability on himself. When auto, battle, uh, when auto battle is not activated, you may tap on the Mechina's avatar again to end this ultimate. Holy shit, there's just so much going on here, guys. This is crazy. So the first part, uh, he's going to remove negative ability effects currently affecting them. So it's the highest DPS hero, guys. This could be magic or physical, which is sick because uh, the, the freaking mages are in a lot of trouble in the meta right now. You know, you don't really see mages in the top of the meta because they get smashed really hard. But this could change everything right now because this dude is going to be able to do a lot of things to protect your uh, highest DPS hero. First of all, remove negative abilities, making them temporarily immune to control abilities. They cannot be controlled. Uh, they will take 50% reduced damage and have health recovery effect boosted by 100%. So health recovery effects, that kind of uh, means if they have an ability to recover some health, it's going to be boosted by 100%. Holy shit. Control abilities will now boost their speed and stat debuffs now give them a boost to their physical. Alright, so if they're trying to be controlled, instead of being controlled, they're going to boost their speed. And if it's stat debuff, it's now actually going to give him a boost in physical and magic attack, and then it just says he's going to exp he's going to lose a lot of ener uh, he's going to lose a lot of health while doing this, guys. Wait a minute, he will expend energy more quickly and lose health. All right, so both energy and health are going to decrease while this ultimate is going on, which kind of makes any sense because this has to kind of give somehow. It's a sick, sick support, guys. This guy sounds already like the, the best support hero in the freaking game. God damn, and this is literally. A lot on arena here it's based towards arena but my god that sounds like a sick ultimate right there so let's take a look at his second ability wheels of fate magna traps the enemy with the highest magic attack and the ally with the highest physical attack in a system of gears while trapped the ally with uh, wait the ally will gradually recover some health and the enemy will take damage over time when the enemy and ally draw near to each other the gears will explode causing the ally to instantly gain health and the enemy to instantly lose health. The explosion will remove negative effects from units in the area. <laughs> wow. That is sick. All right, so um this is sick, guys. It's kind of going to support one of your allies, it's going to entangle one of your opponents and they're going to be pulling towards each other very very closely when they connect. They're going to explode recovering health for your ally causing damage to your opponent so fucking sick all right third ability mega force field mega creates a large force field uh, with himself and at the center allies within the force field will take reduced aoe damage wow that's 10 percent at this point jesus christ that's pretty high guys 10 percent reduced already at this point at level one it's probably going to be a lot more when we get to level what is that i think that one goes up to like level 80 Sick. Alright, so uh, fourth ability here. Mechina shoots a pair of entangled particles at the enemy with the lowest health and at the ally with the highest energy. Alright. It will not target any ally who would be killed by the damage it deals. Okay. Uh, the damage dealt by the particles ignores armor. Within 12 seconds of being hit, the ally will gain health equivalent to twice the damage Whoa, that it took by the particles. Within 12 seconds of being hit, the enemy will gain health equivalent to half the damage dealt by the particles. All right, so uh, it seems like it's going to hit two heroes on the battlefield, one of yours and one of his. It will not hit a hero uh, that is that will die by this attack, obviously. So it will only hit a hero that's not going to die. But 12 seconds after their hit, your hero will gain double the health that it lost, alright, so it's going to lose some health, and then boom, recover double that, 
your enemy is going to lose some and only recover half. Alright, so that's what this ability does, guys. And uh, it's actually pretty sick. Because it doesn't seem like he is a great, I guess, damage dealer. But this ability actually gives him some damage to uh, one of your enemies. So, all in all, it's pretty dope. I love that a lot. So, let's take a look at what happens when he gets awakened. When, an, uh, when any control effect is removed from either an ally or an enemy by due to an... By due to an ability, Mechanic gains health. When any buff or debuff is removed from an ally or enemy, Mechanic gains energy. Wow, this is so fucking sick, dude. So whenever you remove any control ability, and don't forget, his ultimate removes control abilities. This guy is going to buff. Um, he will get health. So he will gain health. If you remove a buff or a debuff from an ally or an enemy, he will gain energy. So... Freaking sick. This ultimate is incredible. All these abilities are sick. I'm super freaking excited to get this dude. Oh my god. He's sick, guys. What a sick uh, support ability. I can't wait to, to actually go ahead and test this guy. So that's what we're about to do right now, guys. We're going to go head right into a battle and test him out. Let's go. Wait a second. Before we do that, I need to upgrade some of these abilities. I almost forgot. Let's put some stuff into all these here boom five six 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 all right i got them all at six now let's go ahead i'm not gonna enchant his uh items just yet but let's go ahead and test this guy out in a battle here let's do it all right guys so here we are in a battle here and i put a couple of other support heroes here <coughs> just to see how they really interact with him so all right so there it is that's the ability guys that he creates the force field and decreases uh aoe damage i think this is third ability there uh let's see what else he's gonna do here so He's got the gears also. That's the gears on Leon right there. As you can see, he's got the gear underneath Leon. And it's also on uh, the Shaman there. Now, the problem is those have those heroes have to be moving. I'm pretty sure those heroes have to be moving around once they connect. So, this is kind of geared towards heroes that move around a lot, guys. There we go. We kind of have a little bit of a counter to the heroes that are jumping around a lot. Um... Because if these heroes, now these heroes stay still, they don't move too much, but in the arena, we already know most heroes will move around a lot. Once the heroes start moving and they connect, it will explode, thus dealing damage to the to those two. Um, you know, it's going to heal your ally, it's going to hurt your opponent. So that's why that ability is pretty cool right there. So we got that, we got the force field in there. And we're about to go with the ultimate, let's go! Boom! Alright, so he got... Leon there so Leon is being protected right now and as you can see he's losing health and he's losing energy really really quickly guys Wow, but Leon right now is immune to control abilities plus all the other stats that I completely forgot about but yeah Time's up boy. I let that battle go on for too long now. Let's take a look Wow, look at that. He did a lot of damage, but so did Leon so that doesn't tell you anything guys Don't even look at that all right, we're not even gonna look at that. Healing bonuses doesn't have any healing bonus. That's all we really kind of needed to see. I just wanted to see him in action a little bit to see how his abilities work. We were gonna play with him a lot more in the stream later on, guys. But for now, let's go ahead one more time, break these abilities down because I want to really, really get to know them really good. But uh, okay, the highest DPS hero. So when he used his ultimate, he got Leon, which was my highest DPS hero, removing any negative abilities on him. And he was temporarily immune to control abilities at that time. 50% reduced damage and have health recovery effects boosted by 100. So that was pretty sick uh, right there. The Wheels of Fate, we already saw. He trapped Leon and somebody else. But like I said, they don't move. Once they move around, uh, when trapped, the allies will gradually recover some health. Okay, take over damage. When the enemy will ally draw near to each other, the gears will explode. Alright, so that's pretty good in the arena there. Mega Force Field, we saw this one reduces AoE damage as I said, and then Entangled Entangled Particles, this one I didn't really get to see too much, but he shoots a pair of Entangled Particles at the enemy with the lowest health and the ally with the highest energy mm, and it's not going to kill the one that's going to be killed Hmm I don't know that one I didn't see, but I could have just went on without me seeing it, but Overall, guys, I am loving Machina. I think he's going to be a sick support hero, guys. Watch out for this guy in the arena. I think he's going to kick ass and take names. But for now, that'll that's pretty much it for the spotlight. I will catch you guys on another Soul Hunter Spotlight video. To then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out, everybody.